Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and today we have got a can of Big Timber American IPA by the Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. I've had one, maybe two of their beers in the past, and I, I want to say I like them. Neither was an IPA. Really hoping to like the IPA. Big fan of the IPAs over here. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. That's a lighter. Seems like it might be a little bit on the clear side. Maybe, maybe hazy. Yeah, a little bit of hazy. A little bit of clear. Clear haze. Cleary hazy. Let's take a picture. Yeah, she's actually a little more hazy than clear, but not completely opaque. Good amount of light gets through there. You can see all kinds of just sediment suspended in the beer there. Low Brew Co. is their website. L-O-W Brew Co. Lake of the Woods. L-O-W. It's interesting. And is it C-A? It's, it's, uh, it's calm.com. Yes. And check them out. And they are located in Kenora. I want to say they are the most northern brewery in Ontario, I believe. Oh, that smells really nice. Really good kind of citrusy aroma coming off that. Let's give her a shot. Oh, yeah. Really, really nice kind of citrusy bite. And then kind of fades off into... Light kind of malty flavors are there, but it, it's... The hops are... According to my mouth, the uh, the star of this beer. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. That's actually really easy drinking. For me. Dedicated to the larger-than-life men and women who that helped forge the North American landscape. For all the lumberjacks, loggers, fell... Fellers and buckers, this beer's for you. An unexpected blend, unexpected bend to an American India Pale Ale. This non-traditional IPA has a depth and depth of body and color, with a clear-cut floral citrus hop aroma and a supporting malt profile. Keep on logging on. Six percent alcohol, sixty IBUs. Summer 2013 marked the opening of Kenora's first brewery in 59 years. Proud of our local brewing heritage, Lake of the Woods Brewing Company uses the same simple ingredients as the brewers of the past. Malted barley, water, hops, and yeast. No preservatives, no additives, just beer, plain and simple like it's meant to be. So I'm assuming that's your ingredients then, which is nice to see. And then... I believe this was a packaged on date code, but most of it's gone. I think it says the fourth month of this year. So that's completely acceptable. Good on you there. Naturally carbonated, old world style, apparently. It's nicely carbonated. It's just a really nice IPA. Really, really drinkable, kind of... <clears throat> Kind of a little on the refreshing side, which is kind of unusual for an IPA. Usually they're more of the, I don't know how to describe it, not so much refreshing. If the words I'm saying make any sense at all. Beer Advocate, not enough ratings. We have three review, three ratings, no reviews. 4.5, 4.5, 3.75 out of 5. That's not bad at all. Over on Rake Beer, overall 44, 19 for the style. So-so, good mouthfeel, average body, decent, good balance, decent, decent beer, but nothing crazy. Decent body and decent, wow. All kinds of just decent going around people here. By far the best beer I've had by Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. By far. Hmm, really a beginner IPA, but pleasant enough. I want to double check and see what exactly... 
the Lake of the Woods beer that I had before was. I want to say it was Sultana Gold or something, maybe? Maybe? Oh, they've forgotten, uh, forgotten Lake Blueberry Ale was by them. That was actually really impressive. That was like 7% alcohol. And then it was the Sultana Gold Blonde Ale that I had by them. So... You guys are three for three there, Lake of, Lake of, Lake of the Woods. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Come to think of it, do they make any more beers? Our beers. Six flagship beers. Really? Sultana Gold had it. Firehouse Ale in English Nut Brown. Not had that. Blueberry had. Was blown away. That's... 7.3% alcohol on that bad boy. Tippy Canoe Wild Rice Ale and Happy Camper Honey Brown Ale. Ah, I kind of want to try your other three flagship beers. I do indeed. I imagine you probably make seasonal type stuff that you can only get at the brewery too. You're kind of far though. Kenora is not close to North Bay at all. Excuse me. Actually, randomly, North Bay to Kenora. Are you really? 16 hours, like 16 hours, 50, might as well be 17 hours away. Sweet baby Jesus. Wow. I can fly there for only a thousand dollars. Seriously? Cheap flights from only $983. How is it that expensive to like not even fly out of the province? My God. I had no idea it was that far away. Like, I didn't think any, anything in Ontario could even really be that far away. Like, I go to Timmins, which is north, and Toronto, which is south, and it's about four hours each way. So even going from Toronto to Timmins, which is almost a thousand kilometers or so, that's like an eight-hour drive. And that's... That's like... I. You know, at least a third of the way across the province. I think that's that's insane that you can go 17 hours driving just and not even leave the province. Rambling now. I'm sorry, it's really blowing me away. Untapped rating for this beer: 3.57 out of five, 602 ratings, and that says only 50 IBUs. The can says 60. Someone's lying. Overly bitter. No. No. A bit hoppy and bitter for me. Really? On a bad run of citrus hop. Not my kind of beer. On a bad run of... That doesn't make sense. At all. Um, nobody says anything on Untapped. It's not overly bitter at all. It's nicely bitter. What does this mean? I'm just seeing this here. It says 14,522. Right under the logo there. Basically right in the center of the screen. I noticed a thing on their website over here. Which right below there. How many batches brewed. This doesn't correspond really to any of that. I don't know what that means. If anyone from Lake of Bays is watching this video, then feel free to fill me in. It's a big one. Drink number last. That was a big one. A really big one. But still. Overall, it's just a really nice, really nice IPA. 
Nothing crazy, like only 6%. Usually they're 6.3 to like in the 7 range for a good, powerful IPA. This is obviously not a session, but just kind of just past there. It's, it's good. Lake of the Woods Brewing Company, your Big Timber American IPA rating. A solid eight and a half. Not taking anything off. You got your date. You got your ingredients. Everything's nice there. It's just it's just a nice IPA. Not, you know, it's nothing mind-blowing amazing, but I liked it. And I, I hope you'd like it as well if you like an IPA. You, you probably would like it. I don't see why you wouldn't. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! So I guess until you throw some more of those six flagship beers into the LCBO, there, there be no more Lake of the Woods beers for me to try. I want to try the other three pretty badly.